Okay, I am going to do a little abstract experimentation today and thought I would film it. You can see I already started because my hands are messy from the acrylics that I'm going to use to start this process. Um, they're tipped upside down because some of them don't have a lot of paint in them right now. I'm going to squeeze these onto this surface which is a piece of mat board that has plastic attached to it just so it has a nice smooth surface for the paint to slide around on. And once I put the paint on there, I'm going to take these thin plastic uh, sort of plexiglass uh, pieces from some cheap frames that I had and I'm going to press those down into this, sort of squish it around. I've got three of them, so I'm going to make sort of three impressions and then once they're all dry, I'm going to assemble them together in whatever way I think looks good to do the finished piece, which I'll show later on. And I might apply a little bit of water, so I'm going to run and get some fresh water. Sorry, should have planned ahead, but still somewhat new to this. I also decided on a color scheme using my handy dandy color wheel, which I don't know if this is focusing correctly, but the uh, triad here, or actually this is the split complementary, of yellow, orange, violet, and blue is what I'm going to use for this, more or less. I, I might throw a few changes in. So first I'm going to start with the, the lightest color and I'm just going to squirt a little on, move it around in just pretty much random pattern and I'm going to add a little bit of red just so it ends up being sort of a, a reddish orange and I'll have a few spots of red here and there and then I'm going to throw in a little dark blue around the edges because I'm going to want this to sort of look like some of this after all three pieces are assembled some of this lighter color is sort of peering through um, the other colors so here's a sheet of plastic and you can sort of see what I'm going to do I'm just sort of press it on and I'm just going to sort of move it around it's going to hopefully end up looking like these colors are melding together. I lift it off. You can see an impression here. You can see an impression here. Put this aside. I'm going to get another one. And for this one, I'm going to add a little violet on top of these other colors. And maybe a bit more of the orange. I'm just trying to have the impressions have some um, similarities but also some differences. I mean they're going to end up having sort of the same shapes but each one's going to be a little bit different. So here is the second impression and I think I'm going to add some spotty water, just sort of some splattering water that should create a little bit of a little bit of a difference so you can see and you can see here I think that's an element of the water to some degree and you can press it and push it out and then I can decide if I want to rotate it or not like this and then lift it off and you can see here is one side. I'll decide which side I want to use. I might use this side because it has this, these nice textures or I might use this smooth side and combine it with the other one that I made once I get all three of these done. So let's see. I think I, think I want to add a little yellow. We'll hopefully lighten up the orange a bit. That's if I can get it to come out. <laughs> Sometimes these things are a little dry. 
So maybe I will just splatter some on with this brush. And just stick the brush in the water because I don't have time to fix it now. And I think I'm going to have this one be pretty dark. This might be the one that covers up some of the other lighter colors to sort of give that impression of like they're peeking through. Like there might, like it might be some sort of outer space kind of nebula that is uh, surrounded and inside is the lighter areas. And this is all really, I gotta be honest, this is all to some degree random and um, intuitive, if anything. All right, so I've got the last piece of plastic here, and I think I want to add some more water so I get some of that um, spreading, a little bit more spreading than I might get without the water. All right, so this is the third piece of plexiglass, and you can see the water spreading. Now I'm going to rotate it some. And that'll make some of these colors melt together even more and it'll also give some of those membrane-like qualities underneath that I'll decide whether I want to use or not. This one might be a little bit too solid. Uh, maybe this will be the one that's underneath. And this is kind of neat too, but this is a really thin plastic. I might use that also. I might put that underneath the very bottom. And now this one, you can see, has a little bit of hole for something to peek through. Um, this, the other two, are a little more solid, which I don't particularly know if I care for, but these can sort of be the under, the under, the ones that are underneath. And I might even... Um, stagger them to some degree. Uh, and when I'm done, when I assemble all these, I'm going to probably cut down the plastic to use the areas that I want. And I'm probably going to put it on top of a piece of black mat board because they just, the colors really look like they're floating when they're on that black background. So that is about it for now. Talk to you later.